This is the second time in three months that this has happened. I am speechless right now. Like, I have the same reaction going towards this as I did with Joseph. Like, Corbin? No. That wouldn't be like him. He's just a NASCAR driver that is a NASCAR driver. He's just an underrated NASCAR driver, if I want to say so myself. But going even towards that, I don't even think he'll be a NASCAR driver coming in the next months because he got taught he got caught talking to a 15 year old girl on snap and facebook messenger if i'm not right i know snapchat was one of them but um i think it was facebook messenger i am not totally correct but um if I am not correct, um, Nash Hawk's video is in the description if you want to go watch that. And, um, yeah, so I was just very surprised going into this, and I was very, very angry. If you want to also see my rage video on that, that will be an unlisted video, or it might be public, I don't know, but um, that will be an unlisted or public video in the description if you want to also go watch that but um but yeah we've had three controversies or one that was not really so just like under there like a lot of nascar fans like didn't pay attention to it because nobody really cared it's just a nascar youtuber talking to um women for two years and um Joseph Lombard at this point has 61,000 subscribers so um I wouldn't say it would be too like over the top and then you have Haley Deegan saying words if I want to say I don't know if I should say them I don't know if I shouldn't um I would say I'm not gonna say them just because yeah um let me also think there's Corbin Forrester, and yeah, it's practically what's happened right now. We've had worse. Kyle Larson, mm, yeah, that's all that I gotta say about that. Um, Brian France twice. Yeah, that's practically all I gotta say about that. Well, it more than twice now that I gotta be honest with you. But um, to be a NASCAR fan, and the reason. How I got to be a Corbin Forrester fan, which I wasn't the biggest Corbin Forrester fan, but like I did root on for him if he did get up in the front somehow. It was just because of Kamikaze Games, if I want to say. Um, he was just a big Corbin Forrester fan. I'm just like, okay, well, I'll just top on this guy. Like Matt Crafton was my favorite truck series driver just because he drove a Ford and I just liked his personality. But, like, Corbin Forrester, he was just, like, that underdog that I always like. I always like the, like, main guy. Like, for example, the main guy is Kevin Harvick in the Cup Series. And then there's just, like, those bottom people that, like, really don't do well. Like, for example, uh, Michael McDowell, I do like him. I don't have any of his merchandise, but I do like him. But, like, there are always those, like, underdogs that I like. Like, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. I like. Justin Haley I like. In the Cup Series, at least, because I consider him just, like, one of those underdogs. But, um, back to the points of Corbin Forrester. Um, it's wrong, no matter who the person is. If it even was Michael Jordan or, um, anybody else in the sports of NASCAR or... NBA or MLB or the AAA series or whoever it would be, um, even in horse racing, no matter what, this is wrong. No matter who you are, no matter what gender, no matter what, if you're gay or... The point is, is... You kind of have to stop talking to minors in a sexual way. 
because speaking of minors, um, this is the first time since maybe 2012 or 2006. Um, I'm going to probably say 2006 or maybe even the 90s, if you want to count that. Um, that we're finally starting to aim towards the demographic. Like, we have worked hard to get out of that regneck state that we were in for so many years. Like, um, going into the 2020 season, when Kyle Larson said his racial slur, um, we removed the Confederate flag because people didn't take us seriously. Um, we did not support racism, no matter what. And if that meant taking down the Confederate flag to lose some um, old time NASCAR fans, well, um, we gotta move into the modern era because those old NASCAR fans are eventually gonna die and people like me will still be alive watching NASCAR. So, yeah it was time to move on and we showed that it was time to move on and we did move on and then this happens again and it's gonna be just like more reported than joseph lombard being a pedophile like this isn't as worse as joseph lombard but corbett forster is a professional stock car driver no matter if you are in the top three series, no matter who you are, you have high expectations to not do that. To not talk to underage people in a sexual way. Especially if it's a 15 year old, if, it, if it's a 10 year old, if it's a 13 year old, if it's 14 year old. No matter who you are in the NASCAR community, you should not be talking to that. And especially Corbin Forrester, he should not be doing this in general. Yes, I know NASCAR is a very competitive sport and um, you have to act professional no matter who you are. Like, you got to even look at, like, Kyle Larson. I'm surprised he got back in the NASCAR as soon as he did. Or even Shane Meal, for example. If you don't know who Shane Meal is... He is a NASCAR driver who unfortunately had a car accident in 2010, but um, he failed three drug tests and he got banned from NASCAR. That doesn't mean Shane Meal is a bad person. He just got caught into something and it stuck with him. But, um, but that's what you get if you are not professional in uh, stock car auto racing. Like you see how people treated Haley Deegan, and especially since Haley Deegan is a woman, she is going to have a legacy going into the farther future. And then her to even say just a mock of um, lack of education, I guess that's how best I can say it because I really don't want to say it, but... Um, yeah, just to even go towards that, just like that minor, like the first time I reacted to Haley Dean doing that, I'm just like, okay, well, she just said that. That's not really a bad word, but um, I got explained to, and I'm just like, Ye and then I thought about it. I'm just like, Haley Deegan, she has a rough legacy that she has to carry on for her whole NASCAR career. Like you saw Danica Patrick. And how that ended up, and um, now she's boxing right now, so you see how that ended up. But Haley Deegan, she has shown that she can have that talent, even if it's in the lower series. No matter who you are, if you can even get to the trucks, I would consider that an accomplishment. But um, you saw how light they were taking towards that. And then now you get this, which I don't think people is going to, I don't think people are going to take this very lightly if I think about it myself. So, um, that's practically where I want to end it off. Um, if you made it towards the end of the video, congratulations. Um, I'm probably just going to get this video uploaded because there's going to be a lot of people who are going to be uploading. And NASCAR is very competitive, even in, like, the YouTube community, no matter where it is. So, yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. 
Um, if you want to subscribe, you can. If you want to like, you can. But I do want you to comment. Um, because I just want to see what is going to be happening with Corbin Forrester. And I am very lazy and I really don't want to do the research. Even doing this video at midnight is just hard work for me. So, um, yeah, if you can just give me some information about that, that would be very helpful. So, yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. And it didn't stop again. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.